Morning. We're here in the uh, beaver culvert just after dawn. I say we because we got a special guest meditator, Garrett. Uh, that's the whole uh, preamble because we both have wet, frozen, numb hands from uh, clearing out the beavers. So we're going to do a little meditation for that. I'm trying to speak loudly because all this rushing water that Garrett created by unplugging things is probably very loud. So this is what you always see on the videos. It's me helplessly guessing where to balance stuff. Yeah, that's not gonna really get you. Yeah, that's right. They will. You, you can subscribe to Garrett's new meditation <laughs> channel starting tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, that, that would kind of work if I can get it to stand up. Yeah, you're kind of in there. Yeah, yeah, That's good. Yeah, it, it might. All right, good. So, uh, which hand is? Okay, good. So the meditation, we're going to start by holding the arm up. Uh, sort of this, a little bit less than 90, or more than 90, depending. Good. So this is opposite the blood flow, which is mostly helpful so that we're not just increasing uh, blood flow by itself. And what we want to do is first imagine the energy coming down from the heart of the palm. Good. Down into the heart of the palm into the bowl of the pelvis. And as I do this, I'm sort of consciously hollowing the chest and then filling the chest like a rooster. Just a little, I'm not, not super exaggerated. So a little hollow, a little open, a little hollow, a little open. Of course, this changes the scapulae too, but just paying attention to the chest will do it. So I'm kind of imagining energy drain. You see these needles? They're like an asterisk. Cool. So, the hollow of the palm to the bowl of the pelvis. Good. Next, I'm going to energize. Imagine that the bones, the furthest little bones on the fingers, are uh, levitating away from the next bones. So, like you have these five bones and they just kind of float up, you know, an eighth of an inch. You can imagine a half inch or something, you know. So I'm not actually muscularly reaching, but I'm kind of imagining those five bones just kind of floated away from their fingers a little. Good. Bring the right hand to the heart. Same thing, hollow in the heart of the palm. Good. As I breathe, I want to check in on the heart and maintain my mind on the, the bowl of the pelvis. The fingers are extending up. It's really nice to be yelled at for meditation. Everybody be calm, be relaxed, be quiet. That's it. You're almost enlightened. <laughs> Good. So we have the, so now the next two bones are also gonna float away. But they won't bump into the first five bones those five bones move a little further away. Does that make sense? So there's just kind of a lot of space in the joints is the whole idea here. Without muscularly reaching. Keep the fingers sort of expressed a little so you have a sense of going up, right? So it's continuing to imagine the energy draining from the palm or the hand with that hollow palm into the bowl of the pelvis, hollow palm over the heart with the right hand or in the left for Garrett, this is the other side. Good. So next bones, that's the two bones closest, the, the, the five bones closest to the hand here, right? 
So these bones, same idea. Those are going to float away from the pond. The other two five float a little further away. The other five float a little further away. <clears throat> Imagining this draining into the bowl of the pelvis. So you have a really big hand, or the skeleton of the hand is really big, but it's not flexed, it's not stretched. The muscles are relaxing. So remember to continue to hollow the chest, expand the chest, hollow the chest. Expand the chest. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the raised palm, right? So this is the chest now. So hollow it, expand it, hollow it, expand it. So this, this is moving forward, right? So hollow, expand, hollow, expand. Does that make sense? A little bit higher. Good. How's it feel? So when we started, I, I couldn't use this hand to start the live stream because it was so numb <laughs> and I couldn't really feel the phone or anything. This, this water is uh, quite cold. Good. So we're matching the heart and the palm, the heart of the palm and the heart. Good. And now bring that palm, palm up, extending away from the heart level. So I have a little bit of that feeling, but still heavy elbow. And now I'm gonna actually bring my mind out to the fingertips, keeping the breathing here, keeping the palm doing the same job. Right, you can see me. hand, close and open, bring the mind out, close and open, close and open, close and open, close, just a little qigong now, close and open, not a fist, just closed, open, closed, open, closed, open, and you can waggle the fingers, and see how warm or cold, you feel any difference, anything to say? Started? Yeah. It yeah. It has a it feel now. Yeah, it got a lot better as well. Right, so we're not bringing the blood to the surface of the skin by doing this, and we're not just doing a simple, you know, uh, centripetal kind of bring the blood out to the extremities or anything. We're just kind of shifting the flow both there and back and expanding the joints and then slowly moving the mind there. So, nothing else to add? So, we'll give them a little tour of the beavers. So, there's our outflow. This is a, a special edition video of me falling in the water <laughs> and Garrett laughing. Uh, there's the flooded driveway. And there's the buried culverts. And there's Garrett. All right, thanks for joining.